Hi there, readers. Today we're going to talk some more about Dear Dragon and about the characters within Dear Dragon um, within our literary elements. So let's just review real quick, look at this anchor chart. Um, literary elements are the pieces that make up a story. We have characters, and that's the people and the animals, and in this case, a little boy and a dragon in a story. When we look at um, characters, we think about what do they say, what do they think, what do they do? What do other characters say and think about them? We also look at the setting, where and when the story takes place. The setting is very important, and especially as a third grade when you start learning how to analyze text, because the setting affects the plot. Certain things and certain events happen in certain settings. It also affects the plot by creating the mood. For example, if it's dark and stormy outside, then you know um, a character might be feeling nervous or worried about something. Now let's look at the plot. The plot is the conflict or the problem, and that's the main problem that the character will face. And then there's the resolution. That's how the conflict or the problem is solved. We also think about the events that happen in a story. Certain events change a character. They also affect the mood and they build the plot. So it makes things really exciting until you get to the end and then there's a resolution and um, the story's over. So let's go back and revisit Dear Dragon. All right. I hope you have your my books out. You're open to page 183. Dear Dragon. So let's just go back and review a couple of the pages. You'll remember here that our story started in a classroom. And the students were given an assignment. Do you remember what that assignment was? That's right, a pen pal assignment. We talked about the setting in this part too. Remember, this is also a school. But it's a dragon school, so does it look a little different? Yes, it does. Now, here's where our story really starts. This is where George and Blaze begin um, writing letters to one another to learn more about each other. So we're going to reread a couple of pages to page 193, and then we're going to stop and talk about what we've learned about these characters. September 12th. Dear Blaze Dragomer, we haven't met each other, and I don't know what to say. I really don't like writing, but I'll do it anyway. Yesterday, my dad and I designed a giant fort. I like playing catch and soccer. What's your favorite sport? Sincerely, George Slayer. October 1st. Dear George Slayer, I also don't like writing, but I'll try it, I suppose. A fort is like a castle, right? I love attacking those. My favorite sport is skydiving. I jump near Falcor Peak. Tomorrow is my birthday, but my party is next week. Sincerely, Blaze Dragomir. October 31st, dear Blaze Dragomer, you know how to skydive? That's as awesome as it gets. My dog destroyed my fort last night. Do you have any pets? Happy birthday, by the way. I don't have mine till June. I'm trick-or-treating as a knight. We're heading out real soon. George Slayer. All right, boys and girls, let's talk about the literary elements so far. Let's look back at the pictures on this page and on the page before. And let's talk about how Blaze and George are alike. How do you think they are alike? Yes, both of them are students and they're pen pals. They also like similar things. How are they different? That's right, George is a human and Blaze is a dragon. 
Do you remember how we talked about the illustrations yesterday? How did, what did the illustrations show us about how the characters think? That's right. When they read each other's letters, George thinks that Blaze is a human just like him. Blaze thinks that George is a dragon just like him. These illustrations show what they think on one side and what is real on the other. So this is what Blaze is thinking and this is what's really in real life for George. This is what George is thinking and this is what Blaze is really happening in Blaze's real life. Okay, how are the settings different? Yes, George lives in a city, while Blaze lives in a fantasy world with dragons, flying creatures, and castles. How does the author of this story use the settings? in the same way that the author of Dear Primo does. What does this setting show us about George? Yes, it shows us where he lives. What does this setting show us about Blaze? It shows us where he lives. Do you remember in Dear Primo? When they would write each other letters, it would show the settings on where they lived. That's right. That's a connection that we have to that text. Great job, readers. I am going to set you off to read the story. You're going to finish reading the story again by yourself. So you're going to read all of these pages and you're going to be thinking about the characters, Blaze and George. And then when you get to this page, page 205, I want you to stop and I want you to think about this question. How has sending letters to a pen pal changed Blaze and George? How has sending letters to each other change them. And remember, this is about characters. We're analyzing how the characters have changed. So how has sending letters changed Blaze and George? I also want you to think about the second question. How can you tell they like each other? So those are the two questions I want you to respond to and you'll submit those to your teacher. So finish reading this text and then respond to those two questions. Off you go. Remember, today we focused on literary elements, and your I can is I can analyze how the characters have changed. Bye, readers.